welcome back. I'm Sandy, and today on In the Kitchen with Sandy, I'm sharing with you my amazing recipe per viewer request for my stuffed uh, green bell peppers. These are amazing. I can't tell you how good they are. Um, it looks like there's a lot of ingredients here, but there's really not. These are probably things that you already have in your cabinet, already have in your refrigerator. So they're so easy, so easy. So let's go over what we will be using. Um, I have some six of the green peppers here. Um, they're what I've done is I want to show you a little tip here. Make sure you cut just a little piece off of the bottom so they will sit flat. If you don't, they'll be laying kind of cockeyed, as my mama said, kind of cockeyed in your pan there. And I've got some diced tomatoes here, tomato sauce, and some ketchup, a little bit of hot sauce because I like a little bit of spiciness to them. And it also adds flavor. Hot sauce not only just adds heat, it adds a lot of flavor, especially if you use the Frank's hot sauce. That's my favorite. Um, and here I've got some diced, uh, just white onions, and my ground meat, of course. This is ground chuck. I like to use the ground chuck because ground chuck has more flavor. And in here I had some crushed red pepper flakes, some granulated salt, uh, I'm sorry, uh, garlic powder, and some onion salt, and a little bit of uh, oregano in here. And I also have uh, about three medium-sized cloves of crushed garlic. Or minced garlic you know I like to use a lot of garlic uh, just a little bit of a Worcestershire sauce and in here I've got it's separated because uh, this is what we're gonna make our tomato sauce we're gonna put our tomato sauce it's a little bit of oregano again you have the uh, onion salt and the granulated garlic um, I believe in flavor in every layer of the dish and that's what we're gonna do because I'm gonna bring to you something amazing today and in here I have some Parmesan cheese now I like to use the I guess you would want to call it, it's not the, the, the powdery kind, not the fresh grated. This is going to act as a binder and it's going to suck up some of that liquid to make sure that your meat filling in there is not all runny and um, what have you. Plus it's going to add some extra flavor. And then we have some olive oil, some pepper, and a little bit of uh, rice. This is the instant rice. Um, if you use the non-instant rice, the rice that you have to cook for some time, then you're going to want to cook it ahead of time. But this, I'm not going to cook ahead of time because it's just going to cook right inside the pepper. Um, again, my oven is preheating to 350 and we're going to go to the stove and we're going to get started frying up the hamburger. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I've already put a little bit of um, olive oil in my pan here. And what we're going to do is we are going to brown our hamburger because um, you need to brown it first because if you don't, it's going to take longer to cook. And by the time your hamburger mixture gets... Um, completely done inside your peppers your peppers are going to fall apart and another thing that reminds me is I've seen recipes where people um, they cook their peppers first in some water for about three or four minutes and I'm not really sure why they do that because peppers cook up very quickly and I like mine to have still a little bit of a crunch to them so we're going to go ahead and get this started and go ahead and add some black pepper here maybe And then what we're going to do is, you got to get some on the stove too, throw your garlic in there. And we're going to brown this, and go ahead and put your onions in there. Can't forget the onions. We're going to brown this completely, and then I'm going to drain it because you're going to have a little bit of reserve. Um, ground chuck puts off quite a bit of... Um, reserved oil from it have you grease and then I'm going to drain it once I get it all fried up and then we'll proceed brown my ground chuck so what I'm going to do now and I've drained it make sure you drain all the, the fat off of it I'm going to go ahead and add to it my tomatoes my spices oh yummy it smells delicious already I left a little bit in there you know I can't be leaving nothing in there and then your little bit of Frank's hot sauce. And your Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. And you're going to give that a mix. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, rate. I'm so excited for this. And you're going to mix that together. And then, you know, throw some onions out there. 
and you want to go ahead and throw your cheese in there. Like I said, this is going to um, dry up some of that juice that's in there. And then we're going to also add our rice. You got to find the rice first, and we're going to mix that around. And once we get this combined well, okay, I've got this well combined. And what I'm going to do while that, that's sitting there, just marion the flavors of marion i'm going to go ahead and start on my sauce it's going to go over my peppers but i'm also going to put just a couple tablespoons in my ground beef mixture this is uh, my tomato sauce and here i've got some ketchup this is going to add just a little bit of sweetness to it which i love the balance of the tartness from the tomatoes and the sweetness of the ketchup is just it's so delicious and i just left it in my mixing container here mixing cup because it's easiest and pour that in there again like I said you want to season every layer so we're gonna give that a stir mm. oh, that smells so good now we're gonna put just a couple of the spoons of it in here and mix it around and then we're going to go ahead and mix that together and then we're going to stuff our peppers All right, we're going to reserve this for later. This is going to go over them after they bake for about um, 25, 30 minutes. So what you're going to do is, after you have this well combined, you're just going to add that mixture right inside your pepper. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I like to stuff mine kind of full. Number one, because we have plenty here. Number two, it's just just the way I roll. Now I stuffed them. Make sure you don't, I mean, you can push the meat down in there, the mixture in there a little bit with your spoon, just a little bit, but don't like, you know, pack it down in there because you want to make sure that it all is, it bakes evenly. In the oven, 350 for about 30 minutes and then we'll finish these up. Okay, my peppers are done. I baked them for 30 minutes at 350 and then I removed them and I added, I topped them with the um, tomato sauce, ketchup, and spices mixture. And they're perfect. Look at this. I let them cool because I know better. And they are so full. Absolutely full. And the pepper still has a bite to them. It's still, I'm trying to cut the fork there. Pepper still nice and crispy. Got still a little bit of a crispiness to it. Mmm, look at that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good. Mm -mm -mm. And I just dumped it out. Hey, that's okay. That way I can get it together on my plate there. These are really good. I hope you enjoy this recipe and make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome. <laughs> Say it ten fucking times, okay. <laughs> shirt dry. My shirt dry. I got some water on my shirt. I'm lactating. No.